Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to show you some dropper bottle hacks. So I've got several different bottles here, different brands, they come from different places, they have different functions. I'm going to go through and show you a couple things. This one, I think it, if I remember right, comes in a container of three. So you get three to a container and it has a glass pointed tip dropper it's a plastic bottle, so you can actually squeeze that, which works great for some of the oil extractions that I do. This one comes at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember if I said that or not. This one comes from the dollar store. It has a different style top, and it has a different kind of a needle for the dropper. This one is usually for essential oils. It's tinted. It helps uh, prevent light from destroying your oils. But it has one of those typical essential oil dropper caps. Here's the thing that I noticed. I really like using essential oil bottles. But since both of these come at Hobby Lobby, I realized if I took the cap off my plastic bottle and put it on my essential oil large bottle, it doesn't fit, it's too big. So I'm gonna have to come up with something different. This is where I found these bottles at the dollar store. I twist the cap off, and this cap fits perfectly with this bottle. However, that dropper, you can see where it is, doesn't go all the way to the end. This is where some of the adaptions are kinda cool. These caps and tops, they come into three pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the glass dropper, and you can, for some of your other stuff, remove the rubber squeezy, and then all you're left with is the seal. This is perfect if you're going to be using an extraction, taking these things apart here. I can actually line the top of my plastic bottle with cloth and seal it into place and have an open ring in the middle if I want to. This is perfect for some of my stuff. Now, I still want to have a dropper bottle for this glass. And obviously, this one is not quite as long. So I'm going to take my rubber cap, put it in my dollar store ring, and use my opposite essential oil glass bottle that comes in my plastic container. Fit that inside where it secures. And now I have an essential oil dropper bottle where the needle goes all the way to the very end. And then if I want to use this for hydrosol so it's really pretty, all I have to do is put the dropper cap in there and then it seals it up. And then in addition, if I want to, I have an extra needle if I need it. So this gives you some adaptions that you can use for some of your projects whoop, as things are rolling away. So um, I hope you like this video. If you do, you can come back for more tips and tricks later on. Bye now.